Good morning, Pastor Mercer here with you again. This is your daily devotion for Wednesday, June 19th. <clears throat> Wednesday, June 19th. And uh, we continue, of course, in John's Gospel. In his Gospel today, we're going to be reading now about the rest of Jesus, uh, his betrayal, um, <clears throat> and uh, our psalm for today is portions of Psalm 31. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 31, verse, beginning at verse 9. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am in distress. My eye is wasted from grief, my soul and my body also. For my life is spent with sorrow, and my years with sighing. My strength fails because of my iniquity, and my bones waste away. But I trust in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. My times are in your hand. Rescue me from the hands of my enemies and from my persecutors. Make your face shine on your servant. Save me in your steadfast love. O Lord, let me not be put to shame, for I call upon you. Let the wicked be put to shame. Let them go silently to Sheol. Let the lying lips be mute, which speak insolently against the righteous in pride and contempt. Oh, how abundant is your goodness, which you have stored up for those who fear you, and worked for those who take refuge in you in the sight of the children of mankind. Now turn to John chapter 18. When Jesus had spoken these words, he went out with his disciples across the Kidron Valley where there was a garden which he and his disciples entered. Now Judas, who betrayed him, also knew the place, for Jesus often met there with his disciples. So Judas, having procured a band of soldiers and some officers from the chief priests, and the Pharisees went there with lanterns and torches and weapons. Then Jesus, knowing all that would happen to him, came forward and said to them, Whom do you seek? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said to them, I am he. Judas, who betrayed him, was standing with them. When Jesus said to them, I am he, they drew back and fell to the ground. So he asked them again, Whom do you seek? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus answered, I told you that I am he. So if you seek me, let these men go. This was to fulfill the word that he had spoken. Of those whom you gave me, I have lost not one. Then Simon Peter, having a sword, drew it and struck the high priest's servant and cut off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. So Jesus said to Peter, put your sword into its sheath. Shall I not drink the cup that the Father has given me? So the band of soldiers and their captain and the officers of the Jews arrested Jesus and bound him. First they led him to Annas, for he was the father-in-law of Caiaphas, who was high priest that year. It was Caiaphas who advised the Jews that it would be expedient that one man should die for the people. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus, after he finishes the high priestly prayer that we heard yesterday, now uh, he, he enters <clears throat> across the Kidron Valley. Here he is in the Garden of Gethsemane. And this is where they come to then arrest him. And, um, and Jesus, knowing all that would happen when they came, he said, who do you seek? Jesus of Nazareth. And when Jesus answered, I am, I am he, Judas, who betrayed him, was standing with them. And when he said this, they drew back and they fell to the ground. Interesting. They fell to the ground because uh, when they hear the words of the Son of God, they hear the, they hear 
uh, God speaking, this we, we cannot, uh, they cannot help but do this. And again, they say, whom do you seek? Jesus said, they say, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said, I told you that I am he, so if you seek me, let these men go. And then Simon Peter, we know, uh, cuts off the sword of Malchus, uh, cuts, cuts his ear off. And Jesus tells Peter, put your sword into its sheath. Shall I not drink the cup that the Father has given me? Remember, uh, in the other gospel, when we hear Jesus praying there in the garden, and he says, Father, let this cup pass from me. But he says, but not my will, but thine be done. If it be your fa- will, dear Father, let this pass from me, but nevertheless not my will, but your will be done. The Son willingly goes to the cross to accomplish uh, what needed to be done for you and me. That is, for him to suffer and die for our sins, because he kept the law which you and I were incapable of doing. And this is the cup that the Father has given him to drink. That is the cup of wrath that Jesus takes on our behalf, drinks on our behalf. This is what we deserve, uh, this, but, but rather he takes this on uh, for us. And we would say to that, thanks be to God that he did, right? That he did suffer and die for us and that he took upon uh, himself this cup of wrath from the Father. Uh, so that you and I could have peace with God, that we could be saved from our sins, that we could have the gift of eternal life. Caiaphas is the one that said, as as they take him there, it would be expedient that one man should die for the people. Isn't that interesting that even as he thinks he's putting Jesus to death and getting rid of him, yet God uses him to prophesy of, of uh, Jesus dying for the sins of the people of the entire world, for you and for me. Let us pray. Almighty God, graciously behold this, your family, for whom I, our Lord Jesus Christ was willing to be betrayed and delivered into the hands of sinful men to suffer death upon the cross. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let's go back to the uh, uh, second petition of the Lord's Prayer. Thy kingdom come. What does this mean? The kingdom of God certainly comes without our prayer but we pray in this petition that it would come to us also. How does God's kingdom come? God's kingdom comes when our heavenly Father gives us his Holy Spirit so that by his grace we believe his word and lead godly lives here in time and there in eternity. We pray Luther's morning prayer together. I thank you, my heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger, and I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Have a great day. Uh, And uh, I will see you again tomorrow.